Saul, you've described it before as the slowest aha moment in history, perhaps. The, but you were coming to this realization that you were going to have a result which you were not expecting. Yes. How did you individually deal with it? Because the world welcomed it when it came out. But as you were analyzing the data and beginning to see that this result, were you doubtful? Were you thinking this is not this, this is not what we should be seeing? There's something wrong. I just thought it was wrong, but just it was going to be wrong for Trivial. a simple or dumb yeah. reason. Yeah. Like we would say a math error, or in these sophisticated analyses, that usually means a bug in a computer program, but that it would be wrong for that reason. And as it evolved, I started thinking maybe at least it's wrong for an interesting reason, <laughs> something that yeah. you know we won't kick ourselves and say we should have known that. Um, I, I'm pretty amazed that it has survived to this day at face value of what we yeah. thought it was. Right. And I guess there's the other element of it, which is that it's, there's a chain of analyses that we all have to do. Mm. And many steps in that chain, you have to calibrate. Mm. And so in the very first days of the, of the measurement, when you, when you first put the chain together, you often put the chain together and put the point in the plot just to make sure that, to show that the chain all holds together and it works. And then you plan to go back and fix you know, and, and you know, tune each of the different calibration steps along the way to make sure that there is, you know, you've got all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Mm. Um, and so we also, I think, in the very earliest stages thought that as we started to put back in all the calibrations, um, the, the plots would home in to something a little bit more sensible. And of course, as we did those checks, um, you know, it just homed in on more you know, nonsensical I think, I think the flavor of our analysis was different, yeah. just in that I think we had our toolkit and we were going to take the data through that and see the answer at the end. And when we saw it, we were kind of stuck only with maybe we had made a mistake. We had pre-calibrated everything. We had pre-calibrated everything. Pre -calibrated everything. Yeah. We really just went dum, 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 yeah. ching, and you're like, ooh, that's not so good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through each step right. again. Yeah. And what went wrong? Right. So that was me. I just said, uh, all right, where where'd we mess where'd up? We <laughs> <laughs> and, but you should say that you know, most of what a scientist does, I think, is look for your own mistakes. Right? Yeah. That, that's not unusual, that you're spending a lot of your time trying to figure out um, is what I've done right. today correct? Right. Is what I did last month correct? Right. Um, and you know, sometimes this, this notion that you know, you occasionally get asked the question, so what, what did you set out to prove? Mm. Um, I don't think any of us set out to prove anything you know, in, the, in these things. We actually were just going out to make a measurement, and making measurements well, are we were, hard. We were you trying know. to prove. We were trying to prove was the universe slowing down a little, or was it slowing down a lot? You had gone through the idea of testing this. Uh, I mean, we knew we could do that, but I just kind of figured that was an irrelevant question.